These are the Mario and Luigi games in three minutes. Let's -a go! The Mushroom Kingdom, a peaceful wonderland ruled by Princess Peach and protected by the Mario Brothers against the cruel King Bowser. Bean Bean Kingdom sends ambassadors to visit Princess Peach, but it's really Cacletta and her henchmen Fawful. They steal Peach's voice and escape. Bowser, like always, tries to kidnap the newly mute Peach. Mario and Luigi, like always, beat him up. Bowser says they'll help them restore Peach's voice. And the three go to Bean Bean Kingdom to meet Lady Lima, who's actually Cacletta in disguise. She tricks the Mario Brothers into helping her steal the Bean Star. Cacletta tries to activate it, but it breaks into four pieces. Mario and Luigi fight her, but Fawful sucks up Cacletta with his vacuum helmet to save her. Mario and Luigi collect the Bean Star pieces. Fawful puts Cacletta's soul inside Bowser, creating Bowletta. Bowletta attacks the city, and Mario and Luigi show up to stop her, but Bowletta swallows them. Inside, they fight her spirit form, and the three are victorious. Cacletta disappears forever. One year later, Professor E. Gad completes a time machine, powered by the Cobalt Star. Peach enters the time machine and goes to the past, and the star shatters into shards. Starting to see a trend here. The past is invaded by shrews, and present Peach is kidnapped and held hostage in the past. Present Mario and Luigi use the time machine to rescue Peach. They run into their baby selves, and they all agree to look for the crystal shards. When they collect all the pieces, it unleashes the elder princess shrew. They fight her, and obviously win. Peach is rescued, the adults say goodbye and return to their time. Back in the Mushroom Kingdom, everyone is coming down with the Blorps, a virus that makes toads swell enormously. Peach holds a conference to come up with a solution. Starlo, a star sprite, reveals that Fawful has been selling Blorp mushrooms. Fawful gives Bowser a vacuum mushroom that makes him eat everything in sight, including Mario, Luigi, and Peach. With Bowser asleep, Fawful conquers Bowser's castle. Mario and Luigi wake Bowser up from inside, and Bowser tracks down Fawful to reclaim his castle. Fawful takes the evil entity known as the Dark Star from Peach. Bowser confronts Fawful, and the Dark Star breaks. Before Fawful absorbs the power, Bowser punches the darn nagget out of him. The Dark Star absorbs Bowser's DNA, then seeks out Fawful. Fawful's remains turn into Dark Bowser. Bowser and the bros fight Dark Bowser. Fawful gets eaten while they fight and explodes inside Bowser. Bowser throws everyone up. Upset, he tries to fight Mario and Luigi and gets knocked out. Bowser retreats to his castle. One year later, the Mario gang is flown to Pilo Island. They meet Antasma, the Bat King, who teams up with Bowser. The villains try to take the Dream Stone, an artifact that grants any dream. Luigi discovers he has the power to control his dreams, so he's a lucid dreamer. With Mario, the brothers journey through Pilo Island and the Dream World to stop Antasma. Bowser deceives Antasma and takes the Dream Stone for himself. Mario and Luigi defeat Antasma. Bowser swallows the Dream Stone pieces and becomes Dreamy Bowser. Ugh, no, not that Dreamy. The Mario Bros beat him up and go back to their vacation. When they get home, Luigi accidentally unleashes the Paper World. Bowser teams up with Paper Bowser. Bowser and Paper Bowser kidnap Peach and Paper Peach. God, this is weird. The Mario Bros rescue them. Bowser and Paper Bowser fuse, making shiny Robo Bowser. Because why not? They are defeated. Paper Mario's world is returned to the book. Thanks for checking out our very insane Mario and Luigi in three minutes. We have a couple other great Mario animations coming up for you now. Up next is Mario stuck in a pipe. Check it out. Yahoo! Mario, you okay? No, I'm not the fucking okay! What's wrong? This pipe is filled with shit! Shit? Yes, yeah, shit! Actual human a fucking face! I mean... Don't you fucking say I told you so! Mario, it's a fucking sewer pipe! What did you think went through these things? Would you just grab us some sort of fucking probe of or something? Dad kept telling you, Mario, eventually you're going to get caught in some shit! I know what Dad kept saying! I fucking know! You call a lot in a sewers too! Now get me a fucking probe or something! I'm not the going in there. Luigi, this is no time to fuck around. I need your help. I'm not the fucking around. There is no way I'm going in there. Then we'll be two shitty jennies. No, thank you. Please. What's going on here? You hit the pile of shit in there. Are you stuck in shit, Mario? What do you think? What about our date tonight? You got to be shitting me right now. I'm balls deep in shit and you're thinking about our date. I'm fucking believable. Luigi, I want to go out tonight. Will you take me? Thought you'd never ask. Guys, guys, don't leave me. Guys. Well, shit. Anyway, up next is the sure to be uplifting Why Mario Kills Goombas. Thanks for coming with me. No, 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 it's no problem. I just can't believe my little daughter's turning five. You want me to get the birthday cake? <laughs> Dad, Dad, no, you crossed him. Why, Mario, why? I'm going to save the princess. Was he really in your way? We were going to get balloons for his daughter's fifth birthday. Oh, it is only this noise. Oh, no, Ted. Ted, my beautiful husband. 
I didn't know. Here comes the big hero, gallivanting through the Mushroom Kingdom, killing all its residents. We pay our taxes. We have hard jobs, idly walking back and forth. What more do you want? I, I... Must be great living in a castle, using all our taxes to fund your endless list of exotic hobbies. Mario Tennis, Mario Kart. What's it gonna be next year, hero? Mario windsurfing? Mario jet ski adventure? <laughs> Daddy? Sorry, Tammy, you don't have a father anymore. The red-hatted devil's destroyed another family. Is that what you call in this game, Mario? Super family destroyer brothers? I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sure you'll be a regular when she takes to the pole in 10 years. I can see you eating your chicken wings and throwing those giant 50-pound golden coins at her, yelling, dance, Goomba, dance! Does that get you off, Mario? Dance, Goomba, dance! Dance, what's up, Gangnam, dance! My daughter is going to be a whore! We're all just puppets for your exorbitant lifestyle, right, Mario? Just another fatherless child, right, Mario? Daddy, daddy! What are you waiting for? Save the princess! She needs your help, Mario! Up next, we cover the entire Mario storyline in three minutes which is separate from the Mario and Luigi storyline. You know what, it's confusing, just check it out. Many people out there have already given their one minute version of the Mario story, but we compiled the end all be all chronology of all the Mario games. Everything here is completely accurate according to Nintendo's intention, let's begin. Mario Bros were not conceived. A stork carries them across the sea for quick parental delivery. Luigi is kidnapped as Mario plummets to the sea. He lands on friendly shoulders. The Yoshi clan's heroism reunites the twins, defeats a monstrous baby turtle thing, and helps return the Mario Bros back to the parents in Brooklyn, where they grow up. We know nothing about the next 20 to 30 years, which are clouded in mystery. The next thing we do know, however, is that Mario is a totally washed up construction worker who is going by the name Jumpman. Obviously, Mario here has some kind of superhero wannabe obsession going on. Mario's girlfriend gets kidnapped by an ape, so he rescues her and receives his first taste of heroism. So he cages the ape as a trophy so he'll always remember. As DK Jr. tries to rescue his papa, Mario attempts to drown the baby ape. What the hell is wrong with you, Mario? The next few years are rough on Mario. His girlfriend ditches him because he can't keep a job. Luigi helps him get a plumbing job, cleaning animals from the sewers of New York City. Mario doesn't seem to have lasted very long because six months later he's already working a temporary gig at a cement factory. Then he joins the military for bomb disposal ordnance. He tries out refereeing for tennis matches, professional golf, and even the circus. Luigi helps him join a wrecking crew, but Mario seems to have pissed off the boss. Apparently, Mario was a total loser until the Mushroom Kingdom discovers him. We're not quite sure how it happened, but somehow Mario and Luigi find themselves in a magical world of warp pipes, dinosaurs, power-ups, talking animals, flying objects, advanced technology, and all kinds of crazy shit like that. The Mushroom People ask them to save Princess Peach from Bowser, an evil sorcerer king of the Koopa race. Sadly, however, the Mushroom People didn't actually tell them where to go. They eventually find her, but when she finds out Mario doesn't have a decent job, it starts a long repetitive history of Mario returning to the kingdom to play the hero, and then going back to real life to suck at everything. He was a boxing referee, a driver in a Formula One Grand Prix, a yarn sweater designer, even a professional juggler. Now, he did land a very impressive job as a doctor, but he probably lied about his credentials. Meanwhile, the princess keeps getting captured over and over and over again, and Mario, who is the man, keeps saving the day. Just to go back and fail at being a preschool teacher and doing motocross and art. Bowser eventually sees the uselessness of his endeavors and eventually stops all of his evil plans. This created quite the predicament though because now Mario could no longer be the hero. So to turn things around, Mario brings sports to the Mushroom Kingdom. He brings them tennis, golf, soccer, go-kart racing, basketball, baseball, pinball, the Olympics. Everybody was allowed to participate, even Bowser, but Mario dominated everything. And every time he would win, he would throw this huge-ass Mario party with tons of minigames. Now we had a tough time placing Mario Brothers 2 in the storyline. We believe this game fits at the end. The final scene of the game is Mario sleeping, revealing that everything was a dream. Maybe the whole Mushroom Kingdom is just a dream, and maybe Mario is just a bum who can't keep a job in the real world and can't come out from under his brother's shadow. And what was with trying to kill a baby ape? And our last video in the compilation, Bowser kills Peach. Hey Bowser, Mario's on his way man! Have you got Peach ready and everything? No, 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 don't, don't! <sighs> What's going on here? Uh, she's sleeping! She's sleeping. PEACH!
She's not sleeping, is she? No, she's not! What did you do? Well, we were telling knock knock jokes, and I told her a joke, and she didn't find it funny, so I hit her on the head! What was the joke? Knock knock! Who's there? Uh, Bow! Bow who? Bowser! Ha ha ha! You killed her over that? It's a good joke! You're not supposed to kill her, Bowser, that's not how it works! I know, I know! Kidnap Peach! Give her a vacation away from Mario! I get to spend time with a lady! Yeah, it's a win win! Until now. Good one. <sighs> Come on, help me with this buddy! You sure this is gonna work? Yeah, trust me, I saw it on Drake and Josh once, alright? Tell <laughs> you what's Drake and Josh. Yeah, we already fat. Hey, fuck you, man. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, hey, you alright, mate? What's up with Peach? Um, oh, you mean Peach? Yeah, she's dead. Not actually dead, just kidding. She's drugged up, she's passed out, mate. We're taking her to rehab. Isn't that right, Bowser? Yeah. But Peach doesn't use. Oh, trust me, she's a user. I'm pretty sure she doesn't. Trust me, mate, absolute user. I don't know, because I know. <laughs> Oh, nice one, Bowser. Now there's two dead bodies to deal with. Good thing I brought a spare. Jesus Christ, where's your car? It's down there. This is your car. What? What's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? You tell me, Bowser. It's blue. Just put her in the boot. The what? The boot, the trunk, whatever you Americans call it. I'm not American, I'm a turtle. Thing. I don't have a boot. Oh, no surprises there. Fuck it, just put him in the seats. Can we change the song? No. Is it just me or is the dead peach kind of hot? It's just you, mate. I'd be lying if I didn't tell you I didn't have a semi right now. Can you stop getting aroused over the dead people? What are we gonna do with these guys anyway? Oh, there! There! Pull over there! What? Why would I want to do that? Just trust me. Do it! Great plan, Bowser. Throw them in the swimming pool. No one's ever gonna find them! At least I'm trying, man! Uh -huh. Oh, man. Holy shit! You weren't even dead. Are you actually kidding me? I can't believe you did that to me, Bowser! I trusted you! You were my gang, and then you do this to me? Wait till I tell everyone else about the- There we go, problem solved. Why would you hit me, Bowser? Oh, I'm sorry. I I'll never do it again, though, I swear! Even if you do think my jokes are crappy. It's okay, I guess I'll forgive you. Yay! Yay! Happy ending for all, excellent. What are you doing?! I don't know, but I just found her a lot harder when she was dead. Kill me. Actually, don't, you'll probably like it. <laughs>